Hey guys, so for this video, it's going to be another do-it-yourself how to sketch video. So as you guys probably know, I am super obsessed with rabbits and I've been sort of trying to break away from the whole rabbit art kind of scene. Um, so I thought it would be kind of fun to like change it up a bit and uh, draw a different type of animal. And of course, who does not like cats? Well, I don't actually. <laughs> I don't like cats because I am A, allergic to them, and B, cannot for the life of me um, understand how cats were. Just never had a good relationship with cats. Anyways, that's beside the point. So, I have drawn for this video a, I guess they're called Maine Coon cats, so here, this little guy. And I'll be showing you guys the step-by-step, -step, like sort of the general walkthrough of what the approach I took to drawing this coon cat. Coon cat, is that what they're called? I hope so, I hope I'm not butchering the breed. So I also want to say thank you so much for the support that you've offered me so far. I really appreciate all the comments and the likes. So without further ado, let's get started. Bam! So the first thing you're going to need is a handy dandy sketchbook, a regular HB pencil, a 2B pencil for the finer details and the shadowing, a black fine liner marker for the outline, as well as a pencil sharpener, and last but not least, your eraser. To start off, take your HB pencil and start to sketch a circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a guide for the cat's head. Draw a guideline which will help you add the cat's facial features later on. For this example, make sure to curve the line since we are sketching in the three-quarter point of view. Draw a small circle in the lower half of the head. This will act as a guide for the cat's muzzle. Draw two triangle-shaped arcs on top of the head. These will be guides for the cat's ears. Draw the nose near the top of the muzzle by lightly sketching a small triangle. You can also begin to fill in the nostrils as well. Now here is where I made a mistake. Usually you should first start the face by adding intersecting guidelines to mark which points the facial features should go. The line I'm drawing now is to basically just help me understand which position I could sketch the eyes. Add a few more curved lines to complete the cat's body. You can start to fill in some details. As previously mentioned, a cat's nose is a little bit triangular. Keep this in mind as you draw in the details. Now for the tricky part. Lightly sketch the shape of the eyes using the intersecting lines as a guide. The shape should be almond-like. Once you've gotten the shape of the cat's eyes, darken the eyes with your 2B pencil. To draw the muzzle, use the bottom circle as a guide. You can also start to use short pencil strokes to give the impression of fur. Using the triangular guides we created earlier, follow the path of the lines to create the ear structure. Be creative and add fur on the tip of the ears as well as inside. You're going to want to do short and curved strokes to capture a sense of realism.
Continue to fill in more details. At this point you can also begin to fill in the rest of the cat's body. Use short strokes and follow the body's guides. The aim is to make it look really fluffy. You can now take your 2B pencil or your black fineliner to draw over the lines. And for the last and final part, and most often the most fun part, is to begin to shade. This will give your drawing more dimension and volume. There are many things to take into consideration as well, such as the light source, the length of the fur, as well as the direction of the fur.
Of course, a lot of this comes with practice, so don't sweat it if you don't get it right the first time around. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, or like below, and I wish you all a very nice day.